all right what up everybody welcome for ghost entertainment today we're on grim hope i'm actually going to be giving you guys a breakdown on how i created grim hope's brand new enemy which is a shield type enemy now you can see that he has a shield similar to my shield where basically if he sit there and keeps attacking me and he breaks my shield and he gets it to yellow now you'll notice once i'm blocking my shield gets to yell and break and he actually sits there and fights me again and does more damage now his shield works the same way now this enemy type like he can play aggressive or he can play passive like you can see like how he's running away and being able to sit there and run away from me but then he's still like pushing up which is something like i find very interesting now for me what i noticed i think the best way to break this enemy is to actually sit there and like use our gun like once he breaks his shield you can see that like i'm still doing damage to his shield even with my sword but the guns they just do more damage to have the ability to break the shield now this enemy type when he's on the battlefield like he's an enemy that you kind of have to like get out of the battlefield real early because when you have other enemy types around you like they're gonna swarm you so you gotta be able to sit there and still like maximize damage on his shield like you gotta put damage on his shield while he strikes away go clear an enemy mob enemies on the battlefield now when i go fight this enemy you can see like he's over there but i have all these little enemies which are like the grunt enemies which are easy to kill now they're gonna be pushing me but i still want to kill this enemy type before i go kill him but also still be able to apply damage and pressure to this enemy so i can break his shield so he doesn't get too up close and personal and kills me you know so that's something you got to worry about with this enemy you got to be able to sit there and inflict damage to this enemy type when you have he just makes it encounter a little bit more different so you know i want to get him out the field i'm going to do as much damage as i have i'm going to sit there and kill these enemies you can see like it's easier to kill the grunts but like i'm still doing damage to him. i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the death animation real quick i think it's a really good death animation that i really like but you see how like he's gonna play out like he's gonna be a very unique enemy you just gotta be smart on how you want to play this enemy you gotta make sure that he's like a, one of your main focus like you can't let this enemy go unnoticed on a battlefield because then he'll come to haunt you so that's his death animation right there overall i think the enemy feels like really really well i like the design and any aesthetic of him i think he's going to be really good for the game so if you guys are interested in learning more about grim hope i highly recommend subscribing to the channel as well as liking the video as well as also joining our community discord server now if you guys would like to support the game because i am a solo developer we do have a donation link you don't have to donate if you don't want to but if you want to donate hey we have a donation link it'll be down below in the comment section it'll help us develop the game and the game out there for you guys now overall i'll be guys enjoy the video and i'll make sure you guys like the video as well subscribe to the page where all your notifications are done so you don't miss the upload and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one